Now we'll use the data import wizard to load data into standard objects, accounts and contacts. So to import the accounts and contacts, let's first look at what data already exists. Under accounts, we have a few accounts which exist in Salesforce. Let's say we have got a few contacts which we want to import for the account Bezel Inc. So if you look at Bezel Inc, currently it has only one contact, Rebecca Bezel, and we are trying to upload a few more contacts for this account into Salesforce. So let's look at contacts. Contacts has basically contact has the field name, which is the contact name and then the related account, which is a lookup field that creates a relationship between contacts and account objects. Let's take a look at some sample data. I have downloaded this sample data from Trailhead and I have basically added one more column called account because we want to load those contacts and relate them to the account bezeling. So let's look at the contact object and see if these column headers which exist in the sample data from trailhead can be loaded into contact or whether we need to change the data model a little bit. So if you look at the contact object in setup object manager, we can see, let's bring back the CSV file. So we can see that there's a account field. The account column will be mapped to account name and that's a lookup field to the object account. The first name, last name in the CSV will be mapped to the field name. We have bio. There's no such field called bio in contact, but we do have a field called description and it's a long text. So I don't think there's a need to create a new field called bio. We can just load this data into contact description. Email column. So we have a field called email and it's of data type email. There's one more column in the sample data called picture URL and we don't have any such field in contact and we also don't have any other field in contact object of which has data type URL. So let's create a new field called picture URL to store this data. So in object manager fields and relationships will create a new field. The field data type will be URL. So this allows us to enter any valid website address. And when the user clicks on the field, the URL will, will open in a separate browser window. Next, let's call this field picture URL. We'll accept all the other defaults. Click next. It's available to the default profiles. Next. And this will add the picture URL field to the standard page layouts for contact. So we save that. And we have a new field created called picture URL data type URL. Now let's go to the data import wizard and try to load our CSV with this data, with this sample data into Salesforce. In setup, quick find box, type import, go to data import wizard. In the data import wizard, we want to import data into accounts and contacts. We want to add new records. We don't have a matching field for contact, but we have a matching field for account. Match the account by name and site. We are not triggering any workflow rules, so we won't be selecting this checkbox. Now in my sample org, I have created two record types for contact. One is customer and one is supplier. Bezel Inc happens to be a, supply, uh, a customer account and hence we will keep the contact record type as customer. We have not yet touched campaign, so we will not assign the contacts to campaigns and bring in the CSV file. We bring in the CSV file here click next. We can see the data has been loaded, but there are a couple of fields that are unmapped. So the account CSV header should be mapped to account name. We map that. Contact first name and last name has been mapped correctly. Bio, there's no such field called bio in account, but we decided to map it to description. So we want to load it into contact description field, map it. Email is correctly mapped and picture URL is also correctly mapped. So next, all the six fields are mapped. Start the import, click OK. So if we see the results from the batch, it shows only one record is processed. Now remember, we are trying to load our CSV file with four records into the standard object accounts and contact. Since all four contacts related to only one account, it shows records processed as one. 
we can verify this by looking at the result and request so that's the result file it shows the id success true created false why is it showing created false because this account is already existing we are trying to load four new contacts into an account called basil inc basil inc already exists and it is not creating a new account hence created is false it does not show a separate result file for the four contact records that we have just created let's re-verify this result by looking at the request file so if you look at the request file it shows the id the name is basil inc and the record type id this is the record type id internal id of salesforce for the record type customer for the account bezel now let's look at the actual data in salesforce and see if the contacts got loaded so let's go to all contacts list sorted by created date showing the latest created date today on top so these are the four records that we just uploaded these four records have got uploaded correctly in the contact object and have been related to Bazelink. If we look at the account Bazelink, we'll now see there are five related contacts available under this account.